What is going on everyone? My name is Mori, we don't care my name is, and today I'm reacting to a new death battle fight between James Bond 007 versus John Wick. So, yep, I'm looking forward to this fight. I'm curious if he was going to win this. I hope it's John, but James Bond, I don't know. I think he might have the advantage with his, his toys. So let's check this out. I don't know anything from this. It's owned by Death Battle, which is owned by Rooster Teeth. So let's check this video out and see what we got. Ooh, I like the animation. Is not one to be taken lightly. Be careful, 007. And happy hunting. Your concern is always touching on cue. Vodka martini. Shaken. Not stirred. What can I get you, mate? Drinks are on me. Uh, I prefer to be alone. It looks a little weird. Unfortunately, I wasn't asking Baba Yaga. Now you can come with me, or we can do this here. Killing isn't permitted on company grounds. Lucky me. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Oh, damn. I like the music they're using. Seems you've got me at a disadvantage. You won't mind giving a dead man walking one last smoke? What does MI6 want with me? Your reputation precedes you. I'll be sure to keep up. No, you won't. I like the voice actors too. Oh, damn. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, run the head! Fuck. I like how. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. To be entirely honest, I lost count. <laughs> James, to me, kind of seems to rely a lot on his gadgets. Oh no, Keanu! Run, man, run! It's care. It's Christine! Come for revenge! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Shit, someone's gonna die. Really? Oh shit. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> he's getting the pleasure and he's still fighting. Oh shit. What comes around goes around, as they say. Oh no! No! Yeah. <gasps> no! Oh! Oh! Bond, come in. What's the mission status? Smashing. Positively smashing. <sighs> oh, do grow up, Double O Seven. <laughs> Yeah. But I guess I'll never say never again. Though his He's still so fucking in a pen. Would have seemed weak initially against James Bond. You only live twice. You mean once, right? I know what I said. Uh -huh. Well, despite all that, Wick met his match in Agent 007. And match is the optimal word here. Wick may have been an expert martial artist, but Bond has actually practiced several of the same styles Wick has. Slow and reaction. Has shown to okay. Be just as skilled a fighter, okay. even defeating master martial artists himself. Wick's ability to shatter a floor of bulletproof glass definitely makes him superhumanly strong, but Bond has fought off similarly powerful henchmen in the past. Mm. And while Wick's speed and accuracy with a gun may look unbeatable, Bond's is just as impressive. Yeah. He's landed accurate shots just as well as Wick ever has, but 
more importantly, he has a faster quick draw. That's right. Despite being played by Neo himself, Wick has never dodged bullets. Bond, on the other hand, has. And that superior speed gave him an edge in both close quarter combat and on the draw. Though since both had body armor, the fight probably wasn't going to be won by guns alone. Yeah. That's where Bond held his biggest advantage, his gadgets. There was no way Wick would see an exploding pen or a laser watch coming. And that's the whole point of Bond's gadgets. They're seemingly normal, everyday objects that'll take his enemy by surprise. Given time, Bond has always used these to come up with game-winning strategies, even against numerically superior foes, especially with his more absurd technology like the invisible nanosuit and remote-controlled explosive drones. Wick's endurance might be mind-blowing, yeah. but he isn't invincible. He can keep fighting even on death's door. But the deadliness of Bond's trick weapons would not have given him that option. Diamonds are forever, but against someone just as skilled with an arsenal straight out of science fiction, Wick's luck definitely wasn't. Bond may have been the spy who loved me, but against Wick, he was going to live and let die. And you can bet, tomorrow never dies. Are you done? Nailed it. Look, I just had to fit the last few movies in, okay? Oh, wait, shit, I forgot about Octopussy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the winner is Bond. <clears throat> James Bond. Alright. Alright, who's next? Oh, hell yeah! Hell fucking yeah! Alright, so that's the fight, and honestly, I was surprised John lost, but as they explained before, James has pretty much a lot more experience against super strong enemies like John, and John, to me, I don't think he would have been able to counter any one of James, any of his inventions, any of his gadgets, and yeah, James does rely a lot on those, and those have pretty much been very helpful in helping him, whether it's to escape or whether to take down some enemies, he is, you know, he is who he is because of all the things he's gone through. John's gone through a lot of things too in his life, but I don't think as much as James Bond, but I still like this fight. I thought they did a good job with this. The animation, I was a little iffy about it at first, but I thought, eh, it's still not bad. I still like it. And I love the voice acting as well. I love how this fight went, so nicely done. And next fight, Black Adam versus Apocalypse. DC versus Marvel. Fuck yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight. I don't know who's going to win that, but either way, it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about this video or what you think of the fight or even the next one coming up, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Check my Facebook page and my Twitter page. Check out T3 Media's channel. Subscribe to their channel. Keep up to date with their videos. Check out Death Battle and Rooster's Teeth's channel. Subscribe to their channels. Keep up to date with their videos. And we'll see you next thing. Give you more love and more entertainment. Until then, take care. Be safe. Love you all. And goodbye.